going on, Bay Fan Bay Area Transparency? Back in the house with another audit for you guys. Today we're in the city of Elk Grove, or kind of near Elk Grove, at a CHP office. Elk Grove, California is out there by Sacramento, California. For those of you who don't know, this audit's just going to be a little quick one, quick, fast, and in a hurry, kind of sweet. Um, a couple of the officers over here were kind of sweet. One of them was real sensitive. I tried to crack a joke, and he said I was trying to intimidate him. Uh, I don't know where that was coming from. Another officer was aggressive and wanting to get mad because I asked him to be quiet because I was trying to talk, uh, get somebody's name and he was talking over me. You could tell he was the type of officer that had a superiority complex. You guys will see all that in the video for sure. Go ahead and be sure to check us out on Instagram, Bay Area Transparency on Instagram. We're going to be putting up some more videos and photos and things of that nature and getting more active on our Instagram also, check me out on TikTok if you guys are on TikTok. Bay Area Transparency on TikTok. I'm breaking into TikTok. We're going to take it over. 2021 is our year, Bay Fam. We're going to get after it. So let's do it. Like, share, and subscribe. I got more videos coming your way. I know I've been absent a little bit, but believe me, I'm working for you guys. I love y'all. Bay Area Transparency out. What's the word, Bay Fam? Bay Area Transparency doing a First Amendment audit on the CHP out here in Sacramento near Elk Grove. See if they respect my First Amendment right. Oh, no, I'm good. Are you taking pictures? Walking away, see what happened. Perfect, but I work on that at least. Nothing. Take a picture, but you're doing real suspicious, man. What's your name? What's your name? Officer Vicente, right here. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. You know, what's, what's the issue? What's going on, man? Taking a couple pictures. Any reason why? Yeah. What? Because what? Because I'm taking some pictures. Are you a photographer? What's going on? I don't understand what the problem is. I'm taking pictures. What you're doing pictures. is suspicious. It's a public property. You can do what you want, but I'm just simply asking you, what's the pictures for? If I can do what I want, then what's the problem? It's 
suspicious. What? How? Is How's that, that not that, suspicious? I don't understand why taking taking a couple pictures is suspicious. You don't suspicious. think so? No, I Where don't. Where do you live at? What was that? Where do you live at? Why does that matter? All right. So if I come to your house and just start taking pictures around your house, do you, do you think that's not suspicious? I mean, is this I mean, your, if we're gonna have an your, adult conversation, is this, is this your gonna, house? Huh? Is this your this house? This is my place of employment. But it's not your house. It doesn't matter. All right. So. Doesn't matter. I mean, the that's, question was, so, that's like apples. That's apples to oranges. No points in Dallas, sir. What was that? Points in Dallas. Okay, so I don't know what's the problem. You don't. You don't think that's a problem? No, you're, you're comparing apples to oranges. I'm here. not you're saying if you come I'm to my house. You. Hold on, you're talking over me. You're saying if you come to my house and take pictures is that suspicious and yeah. i'm saying this ain't your house just like he said this is and i don't i don't know the laws of how any of that stuff works at all i was just coming to take a couple pictures and he said it's okay and then you're comparing it to going to my house which is totally different. it's not totally different yes it is no there's people here okay 24 okay. 7 and you're taking pictures of it okay and if you have someone at your house 24 7 and then i go there or somebody goes there taking pictures you don't think that's suspicious a whole different thing. It's not a whole it's different a thing. It's, take, it's, it's innocent, right? House? Like you said, it's just it's back to the fact that you're here taking pictures. You said it was innocent, right? right? You're just taking pictures. So simply, I'm just posing the question: What's the reason for taking pictures? Sir? I'm just taking some pictures. Okay. And take and this is way different. Now I have to record because you guys are acting fucking weird. Yeah, and there's a big difference taking pictures at a like at a an office building compared to somebody's house. That's just a dumb analogy. It's not, not at all. It is dumb. Not, not at all. It's, I think it's dumb. So. Okay, well, that's your. Well, that's we have the opinion. right to pose these questions. You can ask. Going on, we're asking you simply. That's what we have. To think. What's the reason for taking pictures? I'm telling you, I'm just taking pictures, so I don't understand the issue. You just like the CHP, and you're just taking pictures for that reason. Just taking some pictures. What's the problem? Just like taking a picture. Mm -hmm. Can I do this? You're like, am I? Am, it, when I'm asking these questions. Well, because you came up all oh, fucking uh, like I don't want to say aggressive, but you came up quick. And why are you taking pictures and all suspicious? No, I and I'm just sir, taking a you? couple pictures. I asked you, sir, can I help you? <laughs> That's how and I then you said, why are you taking pictures for? What are you taking pictures of? Blah blah blah. blah. Yeah, it, it's a little bit different yeah, than walking up. It is a little bit different than walking up, you know, normally and calmly and saying, "Hey, what's up, man? Well, can I help you, you know or me? something or whatever?" You know normal, not. This is as calm as I can be. This is as calm as you can be. Yeah, Holy shit! You're a cop. We're fucking. We're in trouble, then, huh? Mm. That's as calm as you can be. We're in trouble, man. Okay. I mean, is it a height thing or something? Or now you're trying to intimidate. <laughs> Intimidate that's intimidating you by talking about your height. It's a joke. Oh, I'm trying to break the ice and lighten like up the situation. Like <laughs> I'm we're, we're it's adults. just a joke, but if you can't take a joke and you're an adult, it's come on man. I'm trying to yeah, trying to worse. I'm trying to lower the tension level in this conversation yeah, here. So trying to figure out what's going on. Well it is. You're 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 you were talking over me and I'm starting to get get a little loud about taking pictures at a house, so no, it's no, it's no, a the tension prepared. level's a little high and we can probably prepared. bring it down. Oh it's 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 nothing your house and, and this place is two different things. Okay. And, and you things. guys have already I said it's okay for me to concept. you're taking pictures. But you, you said it's say okay for me to suspicious. do it. I say it is suspicious. Okay, you say right. it's suspicious. Yeah, but it's, is it okay for me absolutely. to do this or not? Absolutely. It's absolutely, absolutely okay for me to do this? It's suspicious that you're doing that. Or is it okay for me to do it? Okay. I mean, I don't know how this stuff works. I didn't think it was too bad. I thought it was fine. I wasn't doing anything crazy, trying to hop your fucking razor wire fence Sir, or anything. So. I'm Sergeant Cart with the California Patrol. Cool. And uh, just, what can I help you with? Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay. So I hear you're taking pictures out here. That's basically what's going on. Yeah, I took a couple pictures. Okay. And your officers came up aggressive. So. Okay. Well, there's nothing wrong with you taking pictures as long as you're not interfering with the public and what's going on out here. There's nothing wrong with that. So, so what's the problem? Well, there's no problem. I'm making sure that you're okay. I'm, I've, I'm okay. I said it from the get-go. I already walked away from him when he asked me if I needed help. I said no and walked away. Okay. Do you need so, any help from us at all? I literally just said that well, right, I didn't hear that right before you asked that question. I said I walked away from him and said I don't need any help. 
Okay, so you don't. So need I don't understand what the issue is, and this guy's blood pressure's on the fucking rise over okay, here for some reason. If you need any help, then we'll just leave you be. That's there, it. there you go. Don't and what's with anything related what's your? To no, 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 no directives. Be quiet. I don't need directives. You yeah, got. You you're dismissed. What? Hey, be quiet. What's your name and badge number? What's your name? You be quiet. What's your name and badge number? No, no, no. I need name and badge numbers, and it's your policy to give them to me. What's your name and badge number? Sir, my name is Sergeant Carter. No, him. CHP. This this guy. This guy. There you go. Yeah, get back to work. You guys are dismissed, okay, man. Sir. This shit's ridiculous. Okay. All right, see you later. All right, thank you, sir. Cool. Now, what's this other guy's name over here? Jesus Christ. your badge number? Officer Vicente, ID number 18598, sir. A little more training around here. Oh, fuck. You too. Jesus Christ. This dude, you be quiet. Oh, want to be tough guy cop. <laughs> See you later, babe. You're dismissed. fucking guy that's the type of cop that beats people up and fucking hurts people man that dude chalk he getting all crazy when you, when he's told to be quiet because he's talking over somebody is fucking pointless Got that guy um Let's go back around here. See you later, babe. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So that one was pretty bad for the CHP. Most of the time, I'm going to be honest, most of the time when I go to a CHP office, it's not too bad. Um, they don't get like that, you know. But uh, luckily, their sergeant came out because I honestly believe that that guy down there, Chalk, would have... Where'd he go? Did he already drive away? Oh yeah, he did. I believe that guy Chalk down there would have uh, definitely stirred the situation up, made it worse than it was, um, because he was real quick to want to talk over to people and or talk over me. I shouldn't even say people. So that's one of them. Bay Fam Highway Patrol out here in uh, Sacramento, pretty much right off of Highway 99 and uh, in between Sacramento and Elk Grove. So they got a missing license plate here. So if that's your license plate, it's sitting here on the highway patrol office uh, fence. So uh, here comes the Tesla. No front plate on the Tesla, huh? That's interesting. No front plate on the Tesla. Let's see if he he goes goes through or not. So that's definitely a violation of the vehicle code. You're supposed to have a front license plate. Even in California, even if the car is manufactured that way, you got to have a front license plate. Hey, did you have a front license plate for that thing, babe? You got a front license plate? We got no no front license plate. I'm going to go talk to them. I'm going to go ask them. You need to have a front license plate there, babe. I'm going to go talk to them and see if we can't get you a ticket on that, huh? I already got one. You should, but you should have another one. You're still driving it that way. I would never do that, Bay fam. I don't care if somebody gets a ticket or doesn't get a ticket. 
um, that's peanuts to me. That's peanuts to an elephant, meaning it doesn't, with, with everything going on in the world between the police, I think that's one of the last things we need to think about going and trying to get somebody a ticket because they don't have a front license plate. Although it does show the inequality in the vehicle code, in the penal code, in the laws, uh, that these guys, if you're, if you're, uh, affiliated with a police department somehow, some way, you can get away with that. You can get away with no front license plate, bad tags and all that stuff. And as you said, oh, I already got a ticket. Well, as the police tell us all the time, if I get pulled over for fronted tent windows or no front license plate or something like that. Um, and I say, well, I already got a ticket. They say, well, you're still driving it. So you messed up. So it really doesn't matter, but I'm not the type of dude who's going to go in there and push to get that guy a ticket, even though he's affiliated with the police department. I don't think it helps us, and I don't think it proves a point. So.